Right, today I'm going to talk about this Utilitech motion activated floodlight. It is solar powered and it runs on three AA rechargeable battery that is nickel metal hydride. And uh, I also I'm going to show you a different way to power <coughs> uh, this light without using these three uh, uh, AA Bad, uh, recharge batteries because these are expensive so uh, I'll show you another way to power it for free and it's you know, even more powerful so let's first open it up and check it out got the solar panel got the lights manual and mounting screw that's pretty much it Take a look at this light, and there's a plug here for the solar panel. So you plug the panel on the sides here. <coughs> there are three nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries, and um, let me show you what it is. Nickel metal hydride. Double A 1.2 volts, 1500 milliamp, and it's a no name, no brand name batteries. Yahweh, no way, it's Chinese made. Anyway, um, so it runs on three of these. Take a look at the solar panel. Let's see how many volts this is. Uh, if you look, you count the cells on the on the panel. It's got one, two, three, four, five, five here, five here. That's ten cells. So I would guess it's about uh, each cell is 0.5 volt. So ten cell is five around five volts. But uh, it, it under the sun it produces a little bit more than uh, 0 0.5 volts for each cell, so I would say around uh, 5.5 to 6 volts. This panel, so let's check it out. <coughs> uh, we don't have. <coughs> We don't have a lot of lights here, so let's go outside. Right, so I'm outside right now. There's not a, it's not a lot of sunlight right now. It's early in the morning, but uh, we can still see it uh, produce voltage. Five point four volts with not a lot of sun. Right, so this panel produces five point five volts under the sun, and uh, that is necessary to charge a four volts system. So this system here is around four volts. Each battery, each um, <coughs> battery pack. It's 1.2 volts, and I think at full charge it's a little bit more, maybe 1.3 to 1.4 volts. So, three of these will produce 4.2 volts. And uh, let's see what we got here. One point two, one point two, and one point two eight. So about one point two to one point three each, and the total is three point eight volts. Okay, and that is a coincidence with this eighteen six fifty cell, and uh, you know you can salvage this um, from 
laptop batteries, uh, two cordless tool battery for free. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna use this to replace these three. And uh, <coughs> the coincidence here is this battery here is also around 3.8 volts. Right? At full charge is 4.2 volts. This at full charge, the whole pack here at full charge is also 4.2 volts. What a coincidence. So I'm gonna remove these three cells back in the room remove right now and then I'm gonna solder it solder the wire onto the positive and the negative terminal so this positive this is the positive terminal that go to the the circuit board and this is the negative terminal and three of these in series right to produce four volts so right now I just need the positive and the negative terminal and then connect directly to one uh, of these and that should be enough to power the whole thing all right so I have soldered the battery in here and uh, just now the light is turned on right now and as you can see it's pretty bright this light is pretty bright and it's I would say it's enough to light up the uh, the front yard around I would say around uh, 30 feet away that's fit, that's pretty good and let me show you what I've got here so I've soldered this 18650 battery I put it on top here and I got two of these so it can last longer twice longer so two of these in parallel so it's still uh, it's still around uh, 4 volts and let me show you Four point thirteen volts right now, and it's under load. It's uh, it's running. And let me show you the inside. I drew a hole on the cover so I can run the wire through. And this is the inside. So I solder a wire to the negative end down here and the red wire to the positive end down right here. Right? Pretty secure. And then that's pretty much it. Run the wire through and solder the wire to the positive of the battery and the negative of the battery. It's pretty straightforward. See you can use two or you can use just one. One of these, I think one of these would be plenty enough unless you're walking around at night in front of your house all night then you need more battery. I'm not doing that but I still want more because more is better. Anyway so let's put this back here. And that is pretty much it. And uh, you know, I have been using this setup for a couple of weeks now. And it is pretty good. Um, the light lasts a long time, it's turning on. And uh, I have zero problem with it and I can use this battery which is free for me and I can use the uh, the other double uh, A rechargeable batteries for something else or I don't have to worry about replacing later on right? those are expensive but anyway this light is bright and the good thing about this light is that um, they program the sensor so that it only runs, it only turns on at night. So I believe there's also a light sensor here that can send when there's a when you know the sun comes out, so that it won't turn on the light when 
during the daytime right it will be useless and pointless to turn this on when you walk around during the day right it's ridiculous so that is pretty good I mean they, they either program it or there's a light sensor here that would tell the circuit board that don't turn the light on even though they see motion right uh, it won't turn on the light during the day but at night it will and the sensor the motion sensor is pretty good you can send I would say around uh, I would say around 15 to 20 feet away and the angle is pretty wide I think it's around 120 degree angle uh, or more but uh, it's very good it's very good so uh, I would recommend this light it's, it's pretty good and it's it's not expensive I think you can get it on Amazon like uh, $25 or some so that is a good deal this light is very good and I'm not advertising for utility right? <laughs> alright so the way it works is you plug your solar panel in here to charge the battery during the day and then the battery at night will be used to power the light and the motion equipment here there you go it's on I think there's a light sensor here because right now it's pretty bright outside and this is during the day it only turned on when it completely covered this so that means it will think it doesn't sense any lights so it will think that this is at night so it turns on the light but if I bring it outside under the sun it would it would not turn on uh, you know even when there's a motion so I think there's a light sensor in here but anyway uh, that's uh, pretty much it and just install this where you can get sunlight make sure you don't have shades to the solar panel because solar panels don't like shading um, just a little bit of shade like just one cell half of the one cell here will bring down the entire panel so that's how solar panels work no shade they don't like shading and that's pretty much it and uh, this is the Utilitec solar power motion sensor floodlight thank you for watching